Don't forget to like, subscribe and share the videos. See, we are using this technology in our day-to-day -day practice in two areas. Let me just come make it simplified in two areas. One is in diagnostics. So as I said, we use artificial intelligence and various other tools in order for us to be able to detect disease. So if you have a problem, still the doctor is the one who is accountable at the moment and no technology is accountable. So if you, if you come to me, I use the technology to detect a disease. I am still accountable whether the diagnosis is right or wrong. It is for me to interpret it in the right way. So there are laws now that are coming up internationally and in India, which I, I, I'm, I don't know the details, but there is there are regulations which still will only hold the doctor responsible because it is the doctor's duty to be able to interpret that result. So this has to be translated to education. Unless the doctor is trained in using the technology, unless the doctor knows how to use it, he is probably not qualified. So that kind of regulation is still not available in India. So you don't have a certification. Okay, so if you're going to use this robotic machine, am I certified in using it? Uh, am I trained to use it? Have I got an error-free option of using it? We do not have regulations. Whereas abroad, you do. You have to be certified by the company or certain people to do that. So this is in, in terms of education and training. When it comes to using technology, um, still the hospital and the doctor are the ones responsible for errors, for mistakes, whatever technology you use. And also, you have to go through that learning curve. You cannot be dependent on technology because technology fails. Yeah, you have a robot, like how, you know, you had a, a, a Microsoft, some viral problem, virus that infected and the airports got shut down. When I open the brain and if I suddenly my microscope or my robot stops working for whatever reason, I should still be able to deal with the situation. I still be able to operate and that happens frequently. So you cannot rely on technology alone. So that is why the technology should be used appropriately by the right people, the right hospital, the right environment with the support system. So this needs regulation and this is not available in India. So to just simplify your question that regulations are need to be there more stringent, which are not available.